Hey hi hello welcome to another video in this video we'll be looking into how to develop custom reports in collections so here as you can see this is uh, the custom report what uh, i have developed currently so here when i click on any columns on this filter pane right so that would appear in the table here see how simple uh, it is for end user to use it right so let's see how it is developed let me quickly get into the data load editor first here basically I am loading the ecom data set and this is a demo data set so you can load whatever data set you have and you know and below this I have a uh, like inline table within this inline table I am creating a fields person fields column within the person fields column I am uh, uh, giving all the column names which I want to show in the custom report okay so you have to do the similar thing you have to add all the column names whatever you want to show in the custom report okay and then here in the within this statement i am hiding hiding that column percent fields and if you ask me why because you don't want to uh, have that person fields uh, selections what you are doing right on the selection bar on the top so here as you can see right now the selection what i have done here right they are not showing up here do, uh, as because it is hidden so that's why we are hiding it basically and that's what we do in the back and side in the data loader editor i hope uh, this part is clear now let's see what we need to do in the front end to achieve this report okay so first of all i have on the left hand side the filter pane within the filter pane i am showing that person field person fields column okay i am using that as a dimension here one thing what you need to note is as the field is hidden right so within the intelligence you won't file this field okay so you need to copy it from the back end and paste it here and make sure this is shows here okay okay once it is show okay then you are good and then when you click on apply you would be able to see the values okay once that is done now let's uh, see the second part now you want to take advantage of the show column if expressions here so what expression you need to add to hide and show the columns within the table so you would need to use a wild match within the wild match i am uh, uh, like using a variable v display fields we'll go through the definition later but for now just understand whatever columns are selected within the column person fields right they are uh, pipe separated okay here whatever are pi uh, available in the person fields column selected okay and also uh, as the second parameter what i'm doing is i'm writing the name of the column that is description between stars as we are right now within a description column so i'm writing description within star okay basically what happens is as right now description is selected and as per v display fields right variable uh, this display would be shown in the table and if it was not uh, selected right so it wouldn't have been shown so now right now you can see uh, description in the first parameter right so if i remove the description selection so in that case what would happen is let me remove that and now when i click on edit uh, and now when we go right so here as you can see description is removed okay so due to which you are not able to see this i hope this is clear now for second column like let's check for country so here only change the uh, the expression is same only changes here i am writing country instead of description as this is for country i hope this part is clear okay now let's see the uh, de definition quickly uh, let me let us go to the next side and this is v display and the definition is here so only thing what you need to do is equal to concat distinct and person fields and then as the second parameter you have to provide pipe here you can provide anything as the second parameter for uh, the example i am using pipe okay and basically what would concat do is whatever selections have been done right whatever the possible values it will show it here okay as the value it will provide it for that expression and based upon that we would evaluate in the show if conditions okay show column if condition okay i'll paste the expressions in the description below so you can use that this is how you can develop your simple custom report in ClickSense. Also, you have different uh, custom report extension. Uh, one uh, recommendation what I could give is custom report exp extension by Climber, which is fantastic, but it is paid. So this is a good workaround to use. I hope you found this custom report useful and you could use in your analysis so that the end users can easily analyze whatever data you provide within your dashboard for quick analysis for like you don't need to create uh, visuals or like charts for different requirement you can give this and he can th that there is endless possibility with this custom reports i hope you understand it okay 
if you found this video useful make sure you turn the like button and for more content like this make sure you subscribe also hit on the bell notification next to it so that you will get instant notification whenever i upload my next video till next time have a good time